I personally am putting children in harm's way by dressing up in a wig, by wearing a heel. I personally am putting children in harm's way by, by reading them a book in a wig. I personally put children in harm way as someone who is beautiful and stunning and likes to be happy and likes to, you know, hold hands with a boy. I just like to feel comfortable in my skin, so I just wear whatever I want. And especially during big events, I like to just dress how I feel. All right, well, you do think men can get pregnant. Uh, yeah, I believe that trans men can get pregnant. I'm trying to get pregnant right now, and I'm a trans man, so yes. I, as a gay person, only want the worst for people. Hello. So what brought you guys out here today to celebrate Pride? Well, I... I'm not allowed to celebrate Pride in my house, but now that I'm 18, I'm able to like, and I got my own car and everything, I'm able to go out, and so I kind of just gathered up my friends, I was like, hey, let's just not tell my parents where we're going and just have some fun. So hopefully they don't watch this video. <laughs> yeah. just blur out your face. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to hang out with my friends, and I've never been to a Pride event before, so I was kind of excited. I was like, it's my first time, and, <laughs> um, those are my only two reasons. I was like friends okay. and my first time, so why yeah, not? Great, great. I think it's awesome people getting together and celebrating themselves, and people need to be more accepting, more open, and everyone needs to love themselves, no matter if you're not gay or you're straight or cis. You know, everyone should find love within themselves, and I think pride is not just about celebrating gay people, it's about celebrating everyone's love for themselves, but just showing that extra special care for the gay community. My name's Kate, what's your name? I actually know you. You know me? I do, I watch content of you all the time. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> I don't watch your content necessarily, yeah. but... That means, that means she watches the uh, clipped up content of me to display me as something I am you know, or I am do, not. We do watch full videos. We yeah. do, yeah. yeah. We do. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> you know, when you watch a full video... It shows the full content. It does full, yeah. The, show, the full person. It also uh, supports me, so I appreciate you supporting me like that. I don't, but I mean, the people I watch do. Well, you yes. financially yeah. support Close me enough. when you watch my full Close content. Enough, so. right? <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. All right, so why are you here today? Uh, I'm here because I am trans. And oh, okay. And I go to Pride, because I'm proud of my identity. I'm Cindy, and mine are she. Okay. Thank you for sharing that with me. So we're here at Pride in the Park, and I basically just wanted to get your thoughts on why you thought it was important to come out today and show your pride. I have gay members in my family, including my daughter, and uh, my shirt says... Yes, 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 you're, that's what caught my attention. What's your shirt say? <laughs> proud mom of a freaking awesome gay daughter. Okay, what brought you out here today? Uh, I just, I wanted to hang out with my friends. I've actually been here twice today. I went home and got changed. So This was like a week-long event. Yeah. So have you been here for several no, other events? No, only today. Um, yeah. Um, but I, I came out here to celebrate with friends, uh, be comfortable in my skin, too, and just feel comfortable. And so I just... I don't know. It's, everything just draws me. This is my, like, a lot. I've been to Pride multiple times. I've been to one over in Ohio and all that. It's <laughs> yeah. it's really great. Wonderful. It's a great so you said you went home and got changed. Did you get changed into yes, this? Yes. Okay, explain this for me because I don't think a lot of people will understand. Uh, I don't know. It's just, I just like to feel comfortable in my skin. So I just wear whatever I want. Okay. And especially during big events, I like to just dress how I feel. Okay. And so... Um, this was just for fun. Okay. Uh, I love collars, so I wear those. Okay. Um, but everything else is just kind of pride, whatever I feel comfortable in. Why are you here today at Pride in the Park? Um, so I actually just experienced my own coming out this year. Okay. Um, I have been married for 12 years, happily adore my husband, but also a very bi into women kind of person. Um, my husband is gay. Uh, my husband, no, I'm so sorry. My husband is not gay. He will kill me for that. My dad is gay. Um, and he's never come to any of these events either because he's always had to be so sheltered. He lives in a very small town where they, you know, it's, it's just very personal. So being able to come here for myself, yes, but also just showing the support for my family and everyone else, like that is what matters most. And the more of us that come out to these events, the less of the negative people are going to be seen. Are you feeling good? Yeah. I don't need to be talked to. Are y'all good? Yeah. Good, good, good. Are you having a happy pride? Yeah. yeah. Good, are you enjoying are it? Are you having a happy pride? I'm having a lovely pride. You it's know, I beautiful love today, isn't it? The yes. rain went away like 
what a blessing that we were yes, actually yes, able to come is. out here today. Yes. Um, I would love to give you all some candy, some free t-shirts if you want. Um, you know, we have some Yeah, awesome so stuff. once we're done, make sure you find him so you can get those free things, right? Like, okay. wow, how lucky are you guys that you got free things today? That's pretty awesome. I will talk to you in a second because we don't want to be rude because we don't want to get in front of these people. So you guys are really young. What? brought you to this point at such, a, at such a young age that you realized that you were part of the pride community because I see your buttons he him love is love what what was your what was your ep epiphany for lack of a better term where you realized you were part of this community I one day I was just like I'm trans and it felt right I was like the the pro like male terms being used for me felt like me and it made me comfortable with who I am so I ended up telling my parents, hey, I'm trans, and they were pretty accepting about it. Um, it was kind of mixed, though, because my stepdad was misgendered me a lot, and my mom's also the, not the best, so that's why I live with my brother and his wife instead. And they are so accepting, they always encourage me, they do whatever it takes to make me happy, and I'm so appreciative of them. Yes. I we love so supportive family members, and friends, stuff. too and friends. So you're 19. Mm -hmm. When did you realize that you were part of this community? Um, probably around age 15. I I had some friends who like, I had always kind of questioned it, but like I grew up on the road and I was very sheltered and everything. My family were very like, like conservative Christians. And so I, once I actually, we settled down in Florida and I made some friends that had similar beliefs to me, it really helped me open up and realize that I was hiding who I really was. Okay. And I was just, it made me a much happier person to actually be me and like celebrate me and like love others who are like me yeah. and so like yeah I just really liked like embracing that part of me unapologetically. I need, I need to talk to you as someone who I'm assuming is going to be a mother. I am a mother. I love that for you. You better work mother. Um, but you have to understand that these videos are putting children's and young young adults' faces out online. And these right-wing individuals are putting our faces on Facebook groups, on, on their Twitters, on their social media, and targeting us. I've been doxxed. I've had my address given out. I've had my phone number given out. I've had all of my private information, which is not okay. Yeah, so I'm videos. sorry. No, I'm not responsible for that, number I mean, one. You are not responsible for yes. that as an individual. So do not apply to me anything that's happened. Giving a platform in which you are specifically specifically targeting queer people in a, in a space like this to where your fans, your conservative ass fans, which is work, you know, be conservative, whatever. I literally could give it two sh**. I, I, yeah, I however, get the impression. However... It is literally putting people's lives on this because there are people who are literally taking guns to places like this, taking guns to schools, taking guns to pride parades, taking guns to festivals, and have your gun. However, this is specifically targeting queer people. It's using it against us rather than to support community safety. They said, do you really believe men can be pregnant? What do you think about a county commissioner making a statement like that? Um, I mean... I can I can understand why they would ask that because maybe well, he, he they was don't insane. He said that chihuahuas can't be pit bulls, men can't get pregnant. Yeah, no, I just I disagree with that. I mean, if chihuahuas had identities and they could be like, well, I'm not like I don't really identify as a chihuahua. I, I'd probably just be like, okay, well, you're a pit bull, whatever. <laughs> My chihuahua acts worse than a pit bull, so yeah. <laughs> I can't say anything. <laughs> All right, what's your identity, little guy, girl? My identity is cute, cute and yes, amazing. Cute and amazing. Okay. All right. Well, you do think men can get pregnant? Uh, yeah, I believe that trans men can get pregnant. I'm trying to get pregnant right now, and I'm a trans man, so yes. Okay. All yeah. right. Well, best of luck on your journey. I appreciate your time and your cute uh, pit bull. Yes. I'm going to identify your dog as a Great Dane. That's fine. Look that's at fair. that Great Dane right there. That's a cute Great Dane right there. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's a really cute Great Dane. Why do you feel it's important to come out and celebrate Pride? Well, I think that, you know, there's no doubt that people's rights are being rolled back or there's a big attempt to roll back people's rights. Um, of course, we thought we had done this once already and here we're back again, you know, having to defend. Right. So I think turnout's important. Yes. I'm doing more for 24. When did you realize you were part of this community? Um, so I think... My first crush was in, I don't know, first grade or maybe pre-K, and I just always liked women. I like everybody. Um, I think 
I just have a lot of love to give and I can give that to everyone. And I don't really care about labels or anything. I'm just happy with who I am and happy with who I love. Well, I'm happy with your makeup because you're literally glittering and shining. Okay, 20. Yes. Which is not old, but you're the oldest one here. Yes, yes. When did you realize you were part of this? Uh, I was about 12 or 13, I believe. I knew I was different. I didn't really know what yet because I didn't really know the word trans. I didn't know what LGBTQ was. I didn't know any of that. So I kind of like, I was like, Mom, I feel like, I think I like women. I think I like guys. I don't really know. Um, but I kind of like told her and she, she kind of made me um, put it back in. Oh, no worries. Uh, put it back in, like sinks down, you know. But eventually she kind of opened her arms and she was like, I accept you for whoever you think you are. And so I've been... I've been on testosterone for about three years now, Okay. Um, so that's been great, um, and it, it's been great, um, but, so yeah, about 13 or 12 is when I kind of came out and kind of knew something was up, you know? So you so. were born as? A female. As a female, and now you're a man? Yes. Okay. What do you need? What Do you want something? I can help you if you want. Yes. We're do you want to take me through it, there? Right? Do you want to take me through there and, and show me everything that's going on? Do you, do you want to see yes. where we get put here, here? Do you want to see where I personally give people, um, take out people's uteruses? Do you want to see where I personally take yes, out people's uteruses? Yes, I do want to see that. Oh, okay, good, because I actually do it right around the back alley. If you if you want to see, yeah, we can go. Want to go check it out? I, I mean, we could get the cops to help check that out if you're admitting to doing that, because that's oh, pretty yeah, vulgar. I personally, I personally am here to do so much harm. So much harm Thank to you. Thank you. Thank you for admitting it. To the world. It. I, as a gay person, only want the worst for people. Hello. Your word's not mine, dude. Yes. Um, also, why? I just do not understand you're literally putting us in harm's way. Okay. Yeah. Okay, anything else? Um, let's see. We're talking about DeSantis, if you have any views about DeSantis. Live, laugh, love, and you're putting children in harm's way, so I'm praying Did you girl. sign the abortion petition today? I'm no. You didn't. Would you, would you sign that to repeal yes, of this? Of course I would. Of okay. course I would. So I'm putting children in harm's way, and you're literally signing a petition to try and kill them at any point in a pregnancy. Don't touch my stuff. I thought you didn't want to be on camera. I didn't want to be in camera, but you're putting me in camera. So hello. I personally am putting children in harm's way by dressing up in a wig, by wearing a heel. I personally am putting children in harm's way by reading them a book in a wig. I personally put children in harm's way as someone who is beautiful and stunning and likes to be happy and likes to, you know, hold hands with a boy. I personally am putting people in harm's way. However... Just keep talking, no, this is no, great. Just, 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 I'll keep talking. Yeah, keep going. However, ma'am, I absolutely love this idea and love this, this world in which you're creating in which you believe that two individuals holding hands is putting children in harm's way. That people having autonomy over their bodies is, you know, putting people in harm's way. I love that for you. Thank you. Yeah, and I love how you're, like, appropriating our culture with the protect kids, not guns. You know, you gotta trick people. Jesus loves you. Thank you. That's nice. It is true. He does love you. That's sweet. I don't know him. You don't know Jesus? Who's that? You don't know Jesus? Who's that? He is the only person, the only place... The only thing that you will actually find true happiness in, that's who Jesus is. And you want to talk about being happy and being prideful and, and doing all these things, dressing up in heels, acting like a woman. At the end of the day, the only thing that will make you happy is, is what that guy just said, Jesus. What, you, you said, what is a woman? What is a woman? No, what is a woman? What is a woman? What is Jesus? What is Jesus? What are you? Jesus is love. Jesus is joy. Jesus is our savior. Who? What is a woman? Who? Is Jesus a woman? Who? No, no. I just find it baffling. No, I really do. Like, I mean, I'll pray for you tonight. I actually genuinely appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I'll pray for you, you know. I appreciate that. No, you think I'm being sarcastic? I'm not. I oh, thank, thank you so much, and I will do the same for you. Please, please, we all need it. Um, wish you the best, you know, hope you put less children in danger. Um, well, I don't commit abortion, so I'm already halfway there. Love that. Thank you so much. I love that. Of course. Um, and make sure you, like, you know, send me that video. Send me that information. You know my YouTube channel. You got it. What? Yeah, you got it. Were you? You got it.